I don't think anyone was happier than I was when Resident Evil 7 was announced. The series is going back to its horror roots. It's set in an old abandoned house. It's in fir first person and it looks suspiciously like a cross between PT and Outlast and hey, is that a ghost? Ah, who cares? It looks like it might be scary and unsettling again. Not only that, but Capcom actually launched a playable demo on the same evening it was announced. So naturally I and loads of other Resi fans jumped straight in. And yeah, the demo was good. It was nothing like Resident Evil, but maybe that's a good thing. But there was one element that was slightly bothering me. Okay, kind of irritating me. All right, it was driving me mad. What exactly is this dummy finger for? Almost every other item in the demo had a purpose. The fuse unlocks the stairs, the keys unlock the doors, the lockpick opens the drawer so you can grab the axe. And okay, the axe doesn't seem to have much of a purpose at present either, but at least you can smash up some boxes and swing it round to get a taste for the game's combat. This finger is a total mystery. You would assume it would have something to do with all the creepy mannequins lying around, but since none of them have arms, let alone hands, that's kind of a dead end. The end of the finger has metal engravings that look almost like a key, but players have tried it on almost every surface of the house to no avail. Some have even theorized that because the game explicitly states that the finger is made of a highly flammable material, we're supposed to burn it down to reveal something at its core. The internet was rife with speculation, basically. That is until Capcom sent fans an email celebrating 2 million demo downloads. Oh, and by the way, just so you know, it also possibly admitted that the dummy finger didn't do anything at all yet. I mean, that's okay, guys. We didn't spend ages trying to decipher a mystery that may not have existed in the first place. Ugh. Quick, let's talk about some other gaming mysteries video team before I get angry. Welcome to the family, son. <laughs> From the very creepy Resident Evil 7 to the very cheerful Super Mario Sunshine now. Remember that bit in Noki Bay where you go about collecting red coins in a bottle? Well, at the very end there's a weird stone structure with a little passageway cut into the side. At the end of that passage is a door and behind that is a book. No one's ever been able to grab it or work out what it does. In all probability it's just something that got cut from the game but left in the code. But that hasn't stopped people puzzling over its possible significance, or wondering if there's a way to finally unlock its secrets. Personally, I think it's a secret guide to completing that bloody watermelon rolling section without wanting to smash up your controller. Next up is the devilishly complex Trials Evolution mystery that won't be solved for nearly a hundred years, by which time anyone watching this will almost certainly be dead. Fun! Trials fans were already on the lookout for something out of the ordinary when Trials Evolution launched, as developer Red Lynx is known to have snuck a riddle into Trials HD. Turns out they were right to be vigilant, as a bunch of planks with seemingly nonsensical letters were soon discovered within the game. These formed a garbled message which, once decoded, turned out to be an explanation of how to unlock a secret song hidden in Trials Evolution. The lyrics to this song made reference to changing it into a visible form. Your ears may not catch them, you might have to transform it into a visible form. Using spectral analysis, Trials fans then discovered a secret Morse code message hidden within the secret song itself. Now, stick with me on this one, it's only going to get weirder from here. The Morse code led to a website which very gradually fed out a series of images before asking users to type in a passphrase. It eventually transpired there were 26 of these images, one for each letter of the alphabet. Once that cipher was cracked, the passphrase was quickly discovered and entered, and this, believe it or not, is where things really started to get strange. The website spat out four sets of coordinates in different places across the world – Sydney, Helsinki, San Francisco, and Bath, to be precise. By visiting these locations and digging up little boxes, puzzle solvers recovered four keys, each with a plaque saying that one of the five keys will open the box underneath the Eiffel Tower at midnight on the first Saturday in August in, wait for it, 2113. Where's the final key and what's in the box? I don't know, and I'm going to be dead long before anyone finds out, which is cheerful and frustrating. All the same, can we just take a minute to appreciate that all of this sprang out of a game about driving a motorbike up a steep thing? It's pretty impressive. 
Back to the GameCube for this next mystery, which comes to us courtesy of Super Smash Bros. Melee. Melee was the first game to introduce trophies to the series, letting you unlock little statues of each character and view them in a special gallery mode. If you were to look at Princess Daisy's statue and zoom in too far, however, you'd get more than you bargained for. Yep, that's an extra eye growing out the back of Daisy's skull. I guess that's why she always wears her hair down. Is it an unfortunate glitch? Is Daisy secretly from another world? Or is it something entirely more sinister? We're off to Los Santos next for one of gaming's better known unsolved puzzles, the mystery of Mount Chiliad. See, near the summit of Grand Theft Auto V's biggest mountain, there's a strange mural on the wall with some weird symbols, including a strange glyph, a cracked egg, a UFO, and, we think, a jetpack. The glyph on the mural also appears on top of the mountain, hidden underneath the wooden viewing platform. A message scratched into that platform says come back when your story is complete. And sure enough, if you return to Mount Chiliad at 3 in the morning with the game at 100% completion while it's raining, you'll see a UFO floating in the sky. Now at this point a lot of people consider that to be the answer, case closed. There are still some people out there however who are convinced there's more to the Mount Chiliad mystery, that maybe the symbols on the mural point to other locations on the map and there's more to be discovered. Our opinions kind of split on this one, but you know, watch this space. Frog Fractions is weird. I mean that in a really good way, but it's properly, undeniably weird. What appears at first to be a browser game about a frog that eats bugs, perhaps to help you learn your fractions, is actually something much, much more than that. And I can't tell you what that is, because discovering the true nature of Frog Fractions is really what it's all about. But trust me, give it a go if you haven't already, it's a free browser game and it'll make you very, very happy. Anyway, developer Twinbeard Studios grew quite a following after players unraveled the secrets of its first game, and in fact a second Frog Corrections is currently in the works right now. Well, we think it is, anyway, because it could already be out there. And here comes the mystery. You see, Frog Corrections 2 will not be released under the name Frog Corrections 2. That'd be too easy, too straightforward, too pedestrian for a game such as this. Instead, it'll be put out into the world disguised as a different game entirely. We don't know when, we don't know what genre it will pretend to be, but somewhere, at some point, something will be released that is, in fact, Frog Corrections 2. For all we know, it's already waiting for us, buried away in some dark corner of Steam or Itch.io or the Windows Store. Okay, probably not that one. But so far, nobody's figured it out. There is already a trail of very vague clues to follow that mostly come from the game's Kickstarter page. But yeah, my favorite part of this mystery is being able to ask questions like, right, listen, what if Frog Fractions 2 is actually Frog Fractions? Think about it, right? Oh man, I hope that's true. You heard it here first, if so. And there you have it, five unsolved mysteries that are to do with video games. I'm sure we've missed some, so do let us know if any of your favorites are in this list in the comments. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.